the question five is conversion between rectangular and polar coordinates. And over here we have the formulas. So if at all you have been given rectangular coordinates like say 2 comma 3, imagine this is 2 comma 3, x is 2, y is 3. To reach over here x value and y value we will get to this point. But also we can come by polar that is just from the center to over here by radius. That's the radius, right? But what happens is this is Pythagoras theorem now because this is the hypotenuse and the two sides. So we can use Pythagoras theorem to use uh, find the value of r. And for theta we can use tan inverse value. But here this is very important to note whenever x value if you have like this x is positive just use the formula tan inverse y by x. But if it is minus 2 comma 3 the x is negative then we will have to add pi or 180 degrees. Pi means 180 degrees itself. Let's look at a problem over here. Find two pairs of the polar coordinates for each of the given rectangular coordinates. S is 1 and minus 3. So in the step 1, we will analyze what is x and y. x is 1, y was negative root 3. Then substitute it in the formulas. You should never forget these formulas, otherwise you cannot solve them. Over here, r is Pythagoras theorem, that's square root of x squared plus y squared. Theta is tan inverse y by x. Here x value is positive, so it's only this much, no pi. And then substitute the values, get the answers. Over here we got negative, so we added 360 and we get positive value. And now write them in polar coordinate. R is r comma theta. R is 2, theta is so much. That's the answer. Now over here you can see negative pi by 3 is also equal to 5 pi by 3. So that's the answers. Now let's solve some UOD problems over here. But here there are some changes. They have clearly mentioned the uh, limit for the theta. It's from 0 to 2 pi. We will come to this. And since most of the problems over here are in radians. See, I'll just go through the final answer one second. The final answer will be like this. This is in radian. It's not in degrees. Now, if you solve this, you might get some degrees, you know. Say 40 degrees you got. But in radian, the values are different. So I will tell you how exactly you would use your calculator to solve them. But now you directly cannot jump here. There is no way from this directly you can jump here. It's better to use the calculator, use the formula, solve it up and then only reach to the final answer. First thing, r square root of x square plus y square. Theta, since x is positive, it is tan inverse of x by y. Now substitute the values, radius is 7 squared plus 10 squared and over here theta is tan inverse of x is 7, uh, sorry, it is y by x, I've written the formula wrong, I'm sorry, it's y divided by x, it's always 10 divided by 7, that's it. Now let's use our calculators, here now the first thing, very simple, square root 7 squared plus 10 squared, Oh, sorry, it's squared. And that's the answer. Root of 149 or 12.2. What about this one? Tan inverse. Shift and tan gives you tan inverse. 10 divided by 7. Close the bracket. And the answer is 55.0079 degrees. Because my calculator is in degree mode. Now you need to change to radian because all your answers are in radian. How do you do it? You can convert 55 to radian. But that's going to be a long method. So I would highly suggest you just do this. Whenever you get such problems, press shift, mode, and this is in radian 4. And now press equal to your answer is 0 0.96. That's it. So you can see R is 12 point something over here, 12.21. Theta is 0 0.96. Now here almost the answers are done. But can you see your final answers are 2? Like this and this. So one of the best ways is since you have four options, you can easily see which is the correct answer. This is correct answer. Most probably this will be the only option with the same uh, these values. So you can select this as the correct. But how to get the other value? It's simple. Look at this. They have told 0 to 2 pi, isn't it? Now what you have to do is you have to get either add or subtract this by pi. 
pi is 180 degrees. But since it's in radians, just add or subtract by pi. If you recall in the previous question, when we add 180 or subtract 180, we change the r value to plus and it becomes minus. So imagine this was the value. Now we are adding, this is the angle, right? So this is the angle. Now we will be adding pi, so it will go over here. So this side will be minus radius. So we have done this previously. If you have come watching the videos in order, you will remember that. So here, this is the answer you got, isn't it? Now take your calculator. See, we got pi as 0. Uh, theta as 0. 0.96. So I will just add pi to it. The answer is 4.1. Now, what about minus? Why can't I do minus? Yes, I can absolutely do. Let me just change this. Let me subtract it and I will get the original answer. This was 0. 0.96, right? Let me again subtract it by pi. The answer is now 0. 0.96. It becomes negative. So it's not within the range. So you just add plus and minus. If it, if it goes negative, ignore it. Just add it up. So that's it. So 0. 0.96. If I subtract by pi, look, it's becoming negative. So I just add the value and it is 4.1. That's the reason. But remember, whenever you add or subtract, add this minus sign. And look, the calculator is in radian mode. That's the only reason I'm getting the correct answer. So now here, yeah, I'll directly show you now how to do it. Square root, negative 13 squared. You need to use the brackets. Or you can just ignore that negative sign because you're squaring it up plus 4 squared 16. Now we the answer is 13.60. Let me just show you the final answer. You can easily eliminate a lot of options because you know the final answer must be 13 or minus 13. So this is the first thing. I'm sure by this you can eliminate at least two options. Now what about theta? Tan inverse. Y is 4 divided by the sign is very important here. It's minus 13. Now x value is negative 13. So what do you do? The formula is add pi to it. Add pi. If you don't add pi, the answer is wrong. Now the answer is 2.84. That's the original answer, yes. But what is the thing? We have to add pi, isn't it? Like add pi or subtract pi. So let me subtract pi first. Um, before I do that, look, the answer is what? 2.84. What is the pi value? Pi is 180 degrees, yes. But what is pi otherwise? It's 3.14, isn't it? Look how much is this? 2.84. Obviously, it's less than 3.14. If I subtract 3.14, I'll get a negative answer. So that's wrong. 0 theta can be less than or equal to what 2 pi is. 3.14 into 2, it's 6.28. Until 6.28, it's fine. So what I do is, to this 2.84, if I subtract pi value, it's in radians. This is going to be negative. No, I can't do that. I will just add and that's the other answer. So this is it. It's a very easy topic now. I'm sure everyone are thorough with it because there's nothing much. First is square root of, I'll just take the positive signs because squared will remove the negatives to square. So look into the answer now. What is the answer? So this must be there. Now over here, Okay, so this is supposed to be the answer, okay? It is not, oh, I can see the values are wrong here. I apologize for that. The solution set is from the previous answer itself. Really, the answer for this is I'll write it out. It's going to be 13.41. It'll be 42, sorry. It's either positive and negative, 13.42. Now, what about tan inverse? We have to do shift tan inverse. It's in radian mode. So y is minus 12 divided by minus 6. But don't forget, since x value is less than uh, 0, that means it's negative number, add pi to it. And this is the answer. So I'll write out over here, comma, 4.25. Okay, this is 4.25. Now, what about this? Should I add or subtract? I have to subtract because this is more than 3.14, uh, right? So let me just change this and I'll write the value itself. 3 point, sorry, it's not uh, 4.25. If I add it, it's more than 6.24, which is exceeding 2 pi. 2 pi is 6.28, sorry. So I have to subtract here. 
Now this is the other answer that is 1.11. So this is one set of answer, one set. Remember when you add or subtract by pi, you have to change the sign of r. So that's it. Now if you want to check this 2 pi, what is the value? It is 6.28. So it should be less than that, right? So that's it. Please do solve the other problems by yourselves. They are just the same. Over here, the answer solution sets are proper. So these are the answers. You can always see R will be plus and minus. This will be one, whatever answer is this, subtracted by pi. Same thing here, but over here, don't add anything. Tan inverse, theta is tan inverse y by x. That's it. No adding anything. Why? Because the x value is positive. The answers are over here. Same way, all the problems, please do solve it up. And the answers are over here. Now, they have left it as pi. Now, let me solve this one because it looks a little bit different, right? Let's take our calculators. Here, r is straightforward. Just use the square root. Now, since it's a single number, 0, right? You will get r as a 1 to 73 itself. Now, let's do tan inverse. This is very important. When we do tan inverse, it's negative 173 divided by 0. Will we get any answer? No, it's a math error. Why? Because it's undefined. So how do we solve it now? There's a way. Now let's just draw the coordinate. And what is this value? X is 0. So it's over here. This Y value is how much? Negative 173. It'll be somewhere on this axis, right? From here, what is the degree 2 over here? 90, 180, 270 degrees. What is 270 degrees in uh, radians? It is basically, see this much is pi. Pi plus again half will be? 3 pi by 2, it's 1.5 pi. 270 degrees converted to radians will be 3 pi by 2. Now I'll show you how. You just have to do 170 divided by, uh, sorry, 170 divide, uh, 270 divided by 180. It's 270 divided by pi value is 180. Just divide this. How much is it? 3 by 2, you should write in terms of pi. So we have, we have everything in radian. So we can just consider it as 3 pi by 2. So 3 pi shift and this by 2. Now 3 pi by 2, you need to add or subtract pi, right? To get the other answer. Let me add by pi. It exceeds 2 pi. Why? It's becoming more than 6.25. It is really 2.5 pi. It's exceeding this. So what you need to do is you need to subtract by pi here. And now you get half pi. So this is why the other answer. The first one, just plot it on an axis. Since it's negative 173, it should be on the y-axis, but down. Down, right? That means from year to year, it's 270 degrees. But since we are dealing everything with the radian, it is 3 pi by 2. And then over here, subtract by pi, you get the other answer. But radius changes to negative sign. That's how we do it. And now over here, we have variables. But that doesn't matter much, okay? It's the same concept. I'll just solve it r is equal to square root x squared plus y squared y is equal to tan inverse of y by x this is it now what do we do r substitute the values a square plus 3a the whole square and now solve it up a 3a see a square let it be what is 3 square it's 9 a square now one this is one right nothing is there one plus nine is ten root of ten a square or what you can do is radius can be equal to root ten a because square is there it cancels so our final answer must have this or i think so they have substituted root ten now if you do this root ten let me just show you in calculator Use the square root symbol and 10, the answer is 3.16. So that's why they have written 3.168. Or you can even leave root 10. Sometimes the answers in the final exam will be like this, root 10a. And what about tan inverse y by x? See, over here they have clearly mentioned a is greater than 0. So only this much is the formula. Tan inverse y is 3a divided by a. So cancel this. What is tan inverse of 3? So use your calculator. Here all you need to do is shift and tan inverse 3, nothing else. Divided by 1, right? So leave that. It's 1.24. And you can see over here the answer is 1.24, uh, more than 5. So it, it will approximate to 1.25. And add pi, it will be 
4.39. So these are the answers. But when you change it, remember to add minus sign to the radius. That's it. And over here as well, please solve it by yourselves. The worked out solutions are there. Here the value you got is 3 pi by 4. Now, uh, here what happens is, it will be tan inverse of minus 1. Let me just do it tan inverse for the theta part. Tan inverse, it will be 14 divided by 14 plus, sorry, it's minus. So x is less than, so you should add by pi. Is that okay? Now, whatever the answer you get is 3 pi by uh, 4. That's why. And then over here, add pi again. It will be 7 by 4 pi. But make sure 7 by 4 pi is less than 6.28. Make sure you change the radius sign. That's it. Similar problem here as well. Please do it by yourselves. I'm sure you'll be used to it if you do a couple of problems. Here we did similar to this, right? Just take the square root. Find what's the value over here, it's 25b 25 b squared, it'll be 5b. And what about uh, tan inverse? The bb cancels, so you'll get negative 0 0.93. I mean, you need to put it in radian and solve it. You'll get 5.35 and the other one is 2.21. Now, don't get confused here. Let me show you. So, it'll be tan inverse. Now, what happens over here is negative 4 divided by positive 3. So x is positive, so you leave it that much only. The answer is negative 0 0.927. So what you can do is, this is a negative value. How do you find the co-terminal? You should add 2 pi. Do you remember the first problem we got negative value? So we added 2 pi or 360 degrees. This is your answer. So remember, whenever you finally solve it and you get negative values, that means it's co-terminal, right? You can't allow negative values over here. So you add 2 pi, this is the co-terminal angle. It's basically, say now over here, this side is negative, but this side, if you go, it's positive. So that's it. So we are finding this, it's 5.35. Over here, we get the negative value, 0 0.93. So this is how we basically solve this problem. And then you can subtract by pi, and the radius changes its sign, and this is the answers. Again, another easy problem. Please do it by yourselves and then check for the answers. And the last problem over here, again, another simple one. Yeah. So there are various ways to recognize the answer. The radius must be plus and minus. The theta over here, one must be, you know, the difference must be pi. If you do this, 3.76 minus 0 0.62, the difference will be pi. But other values also might have it. So you need to use the formula. You need to remember the formula and then solve it up. That's the end of the question 5.